Hey Geeks, Josh here, and I thought that I would go ahead today and do a how-to video on installing a GPU uh, or graphics card into your system, whether it is a new system build or an upgrade to an existing system. So I'm going to go through the steps you need to follow to remove your old graphics card and install your new graphics card. And I'm also going to walk you through the process of deleting your old drivers with a utility in Windows and then reinstalling your new driver setup, which is an important step that most people probably forget about when they upgrade their system. Hopefully this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions that come up during the video that I don't answer, feel free to drop a comment below to let me know and I'll be sure to answer those or maybe even post a follow-up video. Enjoy. So before you uninstall your old graphics card, something you're going to want to do in Windows is uh, make sure that Windows is not going to automatically install any drivers when you install your new card. To do that, you simply go to the Cortana search bar in Windows 10 and you're going to search for Advanced System Settings. Once you get to here, you're going to go to the Hardware tab. You're going to go to Device Installation Settings and you're going to click No. It says your device might not work as expected, but that's because uh, when you install new hardware, Windows wants to go ahead and install whatever driver it has on hand so that it will work. In this case, you don't need the driver to actually get into Windows and uh, follow through to the next step. So for now, we can actually disable this. Once you're finished up, you can go back in there and re-enable this uh, so that anytime you install another device, maybe a mouse or another piece of hardware, you can go ahead and you know uh, get those installation drivers uh, set up. Now at this point, make sure you actually turn off the power switch and unplug the power cord as well as any monitor cables that you have hooked up right now. All right, so now that we have the computer uh, power unplugged and we have the cables unplugged for the monitors, we're going to open up the case and see that we have the graphics card here. First thing you're going to want to do is identify your power connector. Almost every GPU is going to have a power connector here. You may have one or two. Some graphics cards, especially lower end or older graphics cards, may not have one. But you're going to want to identify this uh, PCI connector power. You're going to want to go ahead and take that off. Just pull down the tab here and pull out. Okay, put that off to the side. Now your graphics card is removed from power. The next thing you're going to do is go ahead and remove these screws here that are holding the case onto the actual, or that are holding the GPU onto the actual case itself. So sometimes these are thumb screws and you can go ahead and just take them off like this, or you may need a small screwdriver if it has been uh, sitting for a while, or maybe if it's the first time that you're taking these screws out. You can go ahead and use a screwdriver to remove those as well. I like a magnetic screwdriver so that it can catch those before they fall down into the chassis. Now, the graphics card is no longer secured to the case, but it is still secured to the motherboard. So if you look here, there's a pin, or uh, there's, a, there's a latch here that you're going to want to move over and you'll feel the graphics card release as you move that over. And from there, you can grab, grab from the top here and on the shroud. Don't pull from a, another piece here. Lightly grab it, and then you can just simply pull it out. Now that we have the graphics card out, it might be a good idea if you have, especially an older build, go ahead and uh, get a little compressed air. Um, any brand will do, but I like the kind that have this little straw on the end so that you can actually get a nice, uh, you know, good pointed um, uh, spray. And then just kind of spray out the area. Make sure that there's no dust kind of in here on the motherboard where there's not a lot of airflow under normal circumstances. Get that all good and sprayed out. Now, you're ready to install the new graphics card. So, remember that when you have the graphics card, in this case it's a Radeon... Uh, 6800 XT from uh, AS Rock, and basically what you want to keep in mind with GPUs is that they always install kind of upside down, right? So your fans um, and your shroud and everything is typically going to be on the bottom. So the installation process is the same as reverse. You're just going to slide the card back in. Keep 
make sure that this tab is out and not locked in. You want to make sure it's out. Then you're going to slide in. Make sure you watch out for cables. Make sure that you get that you line up. And then this little tab should be in and you'll feel it lock into place. Next, you'll take your thumb screws and go ahead and put those back in. Now, you'll next you're going to add your PCIe power and you'll see this particular GPU has two 8 pins and most power supplies are going to come with a 6 plus 2 so you're just going to simply snap those two together here to make an 8 pin once they're together just slide them in You'll hear a click, the other one in, click, make sure they're seated. And that's it. You can button everything back up. All right. So now that you have the graphics card installed and your computer back on, you need to do a few things to make sure that the installation is finished and that you don't have any uh, issues with the drivers. So if you're upgrading a previous system build and you had a graphics card uh, you know, in your build before, this is especially important. If this is a brand new build and you're installing your graphics card for the very first time, it's not important to do this step. But most people, I think, are going to be upgrading their GPU and want to make sure that they don't have any driver issues moving from one card to the next. And this is especially true if you're changing from NVIDIA to AMD or AMD to NVIDIA because obviously they're going to be using completely different drivers. So what you're going to need to do is get into your desktop. Okay, so now we boot it up. First thing we want to do is open up our web browser and we're going to search for BDU. Now, the first result you're going to get, or likely the first result, is called Display Driver Uninstaller Download. Uh, your version may be different. This one's 18.0.3.5. You're going to go ahead and click in here from Guru 3D. This program has been around forever. Um, you know, it's a, it's a third party thing. It's not AMD, it's not NVIDIA. Um, it's just a utility that someone has created to help basically remove any trace of your drivers from one install to the next. So a lot of times when you're upgrading your uh, GPU drivers, you'll simply perform an express install and it just rewrites the drivers. Um, in most cases, this is fine, but when there's substantial changes to the, uh, to the drivers themselves or when you're making an upgrade or switching to a different manufacturer such as this, um, it can cause some issues. So we're gonna go ahead and download this utility. We're going to go ahead and load up the uninstaller, the display driver uninstaller. And here it's going to ask us to extract, extract all. Now, once we load the program, now once you load this up for the first time, there will be a couple of warnings letting you know that it recommends you run it in safe mode, a couple of other disclaimers. I've found there's really no issue running it in Windows normally, but if you have a problem, you can always go back into safe mode and run it again. Um, your first screen here that you see, you have a lot of options. Most of this, you're going to go ahead and keep this by default. But if you've installed your drivers into another location, you want to make sure that you uh, check some of those options here. We're going to close that out. See, it's giving me the warning that I'm not in safe mode. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select your device type. In this case, it's a GPU. In this case, I have an AMD graphics card installed. So I would select AMD. Then I'm going to have a few options here. I can do a clean and restart. I can do a clean and do not restart. Or I can do a clean and shut down. 
And I would do that if I was going to go ahead and do the graphics um, drivers deletion before I installed the graphics card. So since I've already installed the new one, what I'm going to do is a clean and restart. Now, once you have your old drivers removed, the next step is to head over to your graphics card manufacturer's website. In this case, I have AMD. I'm going to search for AMD drivers. AMD.com support is the first link, and then you're going to come to a page that uh, gives you the option to uh, download basically their utility and it'll auto detect and install updates for any graphics card or chipset that you have made by AMD. Um, in this particular case, uh, I usually download the utility because it has some other functionality as well, but you can also go ahead and find your specific product down here on the list and do it that way. If you select your specific GPU, then you'll be able to download the driver, the actual driver that you need without any other software, uh, standalone. Just make sure that you choose the correct version of Windows um, that you would need. So in my case, I have downloaded the Radeon software, and this is AMD Radeon software here. Um, and you can see that this is going to give you sort of a dashboard of different functionality. And up in the top right, you have your driver and software. Um, mine is up to date because actually this is uh, a video when I already have my graphics card set and ready. But what you would do is you would click on the check for updates um, uh, box here and it would find your up to date drivers and go ahead and install those for you. And since we've deleted the old drivers, this is going to be a fresh and clean install. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you with your new upgrade or your first time build with your graphics card. Key points again, making sure that when you install the graphics card, you have all of the power turned off to your system and that you are grounding yourself on the case so that you don't have any issues with electric shop. You're going to follow the steps I outlined to remove the old graphics card and install the new one. Once you've loaded back into Windows, you're gonna follow the processes, uh, the steps that I've laid out to remove your old drivers and to install your new drivers. And if you'd like, you can perform the device, uh, the driver deletion before you even uninstall your old card. It's up to you. If you found value in the video today, hopefully you'll consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more videos on computer hardware, how-tos, questions that you have, gaming, and pretty much anything else. Thanks.